It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this tutorial, we're gonna continue down our path of VR Beginner, the escape room from Unity Learn. In the previous videos, we have completed these steps. We're now on set up your Unity project for UR development. It will take about 15 minutes to complete. Continue. There are some specific setup requirements for creating UI elements for VR experiences. In this tutorial, you'll configure the VR Beginner Learning Project for VR UI development. You'll add a UI canvas to review how this works, but you won't develop any custom UI in this tutorial. The tutorial is for learners with some experience creating UI in Unity who wish to apply this in the learning project. If you don't have any experience creating UI, you can continue directly to the next steps or explore the escape room. Mark this step as complete. Before you begin, in this tutorial, you'll use the VR Beginner Unity project and your VR hardware. Before you begin, open the VR Beginner Unity project. Check that your hardware is ready. If you're using Oculus Link, the Oculus Quest, enable and connect this now through the Oculus app. Oculus Link is only available for PC users. You have to download the Oculus software and connect your headset, which in essence makes your Quest kind of like a riff. I'm on a Mac, I will be using Build. Let's go ahead and press Mark Complete. Requirements for UI development with the XR Interaction Toolkit. To create UI elements using the XR Interaction Toolkit, you'll need the following three things. A game object with an XR Ray Interactor component attached for each controller that will cast a ray to interact with the UI. The XR Direct Interactor you use to grab objects is not compatible. A normal UI canvas game object. Number two, a normal UI canvas game object with additional component called Track Device Graphic Raycaster. Three, an XR UI input module. In this tutorial, you'll configure these in the VR Beginner Unity project. Smart step is complete. Check the XR Ray Interactors. The XR Ray Interactors is already present in your scene by default. To check this in the hierarchy, Select the gray arrow to the left of the XR Rig Game Object to expand its child game object. Looking for the XR Rig Game Object. Over here, I'm going to drop down my XR Rig Game Object. You can see I see Camera. Select the arrow next to the Camera Offset Game Object to expand its child. So here, I'm going to drop this down. The two child game objects, right UI Interactor and left UI Interactor, are set up to only interact with the UI layer the ray along the fingers of the hand for a short distance. So the right UI interactor and the left UI interactor. So if we look at this, left UI interactor and the right hand UI interactor are set up here. The max ray cast distance is 0.1. This means that players can interact with UI elements using the fingers of their VR hands. The interactive game objects are set up so that they can only interact with UI and not other XR objects that have the XR offsets grabbable component attached. Go ahead and press mark step as complete. Add a UI canvas. Next, add a UI canvas with an XR input module. In this hierarchy, right click and select XR UI canvas. I'm going to right click here. You can see I'm going to select XR UI canvas. Alternatively, go to the top menu and select Game Object XR UI Canvas. So again, I could have, there's a bunch of ways to always do that. I could have went here, Game Object XR, and the same thing. This creates a game object called Canvas with the XR UI input module component automatically added. Note, if you've already added a non XR UI Canvas in your scene, an event system will already exist. This event system has a standard input module component rather than the XR UI input module component. It will not work properly. To make this XR compatible, remove the standard input module component and replace it with the XR UI input module component. In the hierarchy, select the canvas game object. So I'm gonna select this new object we've done. In the inspector, find the layer field. In the header, select UI from the drop down menu. So over here, it wants us to find the layer field, which is right here. It says default, and right here you can see UI. You can now position the canvas in the scene using the move tool. In the rect transform component, set the following fields. X 
to 0, 0.01, y to 0, 0.01, z to 0, 0.01. Okay, so let's come back here and let's up here, this is what we're looking for in the rec transform field. This is where we want to update these. So first I'm gonna click on my canvas. I wanna see what this is. So that's my canvas. You can see how big it is. Kind of a 0 0.01. 0 0.01, 0 0.01. Set block mask to nothing. So again, we're looking over here and it has a bunch of components, but right here you set block mask everything, I'm checking it to nothing. Right click on the canvas in the hierarchy and choose UI space slider to add a slider child game object. I'm going to do right click here, UI, and I'm looking for slider. And you can see now this is a child to that parent. You can now reposition the camera game object with the visual aid of the slider for precise placement. Make sure you can move the canvas game jot and not the slider. So I messed up I messed up earlier and I changed it here. What it actually wanted me, because it's super big, it wanted it to be here. 0 0.01, the scale, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01. Now let's zoom into it. There it is. Now I can move this somewhere. Uh, let's move it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll have it here. So this is an interactable object that I can kind of play with. Ah, maybe I'll leave it over there. But I want to rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it like this way. I'll just put 90 in here. Click. Control save to save your project. So I'm gonna come over here, command S, I just saved it. Now you can test the UI canvas in VR. When you have prepared to test it with the scene and your hardware, approach the slider, point your hand straight to the slider handle using the UI pointer as the reference. And you can see this is kind of what they want us to do. The UI pointer will change color when you are close enough to interact with it. Press and hold the trigger on your controller to move the slider. I'm gonna go ahead and press mark complete. Summary is next, I'm gonna go ahead and let's test this new slider. I'm gonna do file because I'm on a Mac, build settings, I need to build it from Android. I'm gonna select build and run, and I'm gonna go ahead and just overwrite my previous work. So you can see we're here, everything's still working. I am not close enough. I need to put that right next to one of these guys. So you can see I need to position it or have a, a little cue there. So let's go back. So I have to fix this here. This needs to be near a teleporter. So I'm just gonna select this teleporter. I'm gonna duplicate. I can right click and do duplicate or command or control D. Use my move tool. I'm gonna to put this right here with my teleporter, this canvas, and so now if I build it again, I should be able to teleport here, and I can interact with this thing. So I'm gonna file build. Well, first let's save it. File build settings, and select build. I actually just to show you, I could have did file fill and run. Does the same exact thing. So now let's try this in our headset. So here we are. Let's teleport over there. And you can see I can interact with grabbing this using my trigger. On my controller, I can move that. Or my left hand, I can use my trigger. 
and interact with the slider and the canvas. So that's working. Well, that's working. S summary. In this tutorial, you have reviewed the setup requirements to create UI and VR and set up your UI project for UI development. You've now completed the main part of the VR beginner learning content. Next, you'll review how to continue your learning journey and explore the escape example VR experience in detail. Press Mark Complete. Woohoo, you've completed this tutorial. Keep going in the VR Beginner The Escape Project. In the next video, we will continue our journey.